All right, what is up everyone? This is Shindigs from the Collegiate Star League and I'm going to be giving you a quick video update. We're going to try to get these video updates out every week um, just to highlight schools for all their hard work in playing the league and to give you the up-to-the-minute uh, updates on the new happenings with the CSL. So uh, let's just get started right away. Uh, first of all, the first things we want to announce or just to make you guys aware of is the High School Star League, of course. This thing launched uh, two or three weeks ago, and it's essentially the CSL for high school league. So if you have, if you know anyone in the high school league or in who can participate in the high school league, be sure to let them know to check it out. Um, it's going to be a really awesome thing. We have a ton of you know hype worthy things planned for the HSL. So nothing else more to say except stay tuned and let's just take a look at all the schools who are participating right now. We've got almost 89 registered teams right now from all over the country. So it's really nice to see. Uh, the high school students representing StarCraft 2 and uh, the competitive league there. We also have launched the uh, EU division of the CSL, so if you are not from North America but from the European region, um, we definitely recruited probably the best European collegiate admin, Joel Eagle, to help us run the Collegiate Star League for, the, for uh, Europe, so definitely give that um, some hits as well and let your friends know in Europe that uh, the EU C-Star League now exists. So uh, that's all for now for with uh, new website announcements. We don't, we have, we possibly have a few more on the way, but the next thing we really need to talk about is the regional land. So uh, we made an announcement, I think during summer, after the Twitch TV sponsor sponsorship with, that we would be launching regional lands. And um, the first one was dated for November 12th, and unfortunately, the November 12th land uh, planned to be in Maryland at UMBC specifically uh, is not going to happen. It's just an unfortunate series of circumstances led up to just the whole event kind of falling through. Um, there may be another event in Maryland. We don't know when, but the other CSL land events are um, going to are still underway. So nothing too crazy has happened with them yet, and they are still scheduled to uh, proceed on schedule. So that is some good news there. Um, we're really sorry that Maryland couldn't work out to everyone who is looking forward to it, but we will try to w make it work there in the future as they've hosted some pretty awesome stuff in the past, like the Collegiate Masters League. All right, the next thing to talk about is the recent UVU ban, uh, the Utah Valley University ban. Um, it's very unfortunate, but we just want to give the full story here. Essentially, um, they've just kind of been out of contact and kind of fell off the face of the planet. Uh, we tried contacting their coordinator and players before... Uh, we kind of issued the ban in this case. So they just haven't been showing up to the games and not being really, like, talking to us about their situation. So we don't really have a choice right now uh, for the sake of other schools as well, but to kind of remove them from the league at this point to keep things moving along. It's not fair to the players who do, who do put time into the league to just show up and wait for a forfeit. It's not fun for them. And, it, and some people put off plans just to play in the CSL. So we have to respect the time people are putting in for us. All right, now we have that out of the way. Let's just move on to the Collegiate LOL tournament that we will be hosting. This is known as CS LOL Prime, Collegiate Star League of Legends, if you will. We have this sick gift banner going on right now, uh, and it's all purple and flamey, uh, thanks to Matt Pham, our new LOL graphics designer. Um, basically, it's going to run like our LOL League we did in the summer. And right now, the only announcements to make is just to sign up, get your teams together, and we have the schedule and up everything up on the CSL website. So it's going to be a good time. If you are really into LoL, they are really awesome. It's a really awesome game to play outside of StarCraft 2, even though StarCraft 2 is the greatest game in the universe. All right, so that wraps up actually the website announcements, and this is probably what everyone wants to listen to is the school shoutouts and highlights. So if I didn't reach your school in this highlight section, um, I'm sorry. I just kind of drew from the Facebook group. Um, so if you want to hear your school get highlighted on this uh, video here, just leave, just tweet at us or leave us a comment on Facebook and we should be, and I should just announce them right here because I love to hear all these awesome uh, storylines from each school. Alright, so first of all, we have, oops, this is the league page. Alright, here we go. We have Harvard University actually as our first highlight here. The reason why I highlight Harvard University is because every time people ask about the CSL, they're like, are Ivy Leagues like really good at the school like they are academically? And and you know, the truth is, is like, yeah, they're pretty good, but they're no like Canadian school like Waterloo, UBC, McMaster, they're no Texas school, they're no California school. So 
Actually, Ivy League schools kind of took a back seat last season to all these powerhouse schools um, all over the country. But this season, if you take a look here, Harvard has been absolutely owning it up. Uh, they are undefeated in their division right now, which is actually insane. They are ranked 16 entirely in the CSL. They are in Guardian Division. They beat their rivals Yale barely 3-2. Um, so that's kind of a big personal rivalry win for them. They beat McMaster, which is another powerhouse Canadian school, uh, which is a pretty huge thing there. And uh, I think just recently, Brandeis University beat McMaster as well, and Harvard managed to overcome uh, Brandeis University. So Harvard is actually, they picked up a pretty sick lineup of Masters players. Oops, excuse me. But they picked up a pretty sick lineup of Masters players. Um, I remember last season they didn't have like you know the best lineup, but they were still pretty decent. But now this season, it looks like these four Masters players here are uh, basically pulling their weight their uh, weight worth in gold right now. So props to Harvard University for picking it up this season. All right. So next thing we're gonna highlight up is the University of uh, Minnesota. Oops, nope. The uh, University of Minnesota schools, <clears throat> Baltimore County and College Park. They're owning up their own division as well, an Echo Division. And George Madison is second in that vision as well. So I just want to give those schools <clears throat> uh, a big shout out there just because it was they had pretty impressive records. I don't have it pulled up on me right now, but I just remember like, taking a look at the records and they were pretty damn good for Echo Division. All right, Hyperion Division is pretty Illinois dominated. Um, North Illinois University actually gave University of Chicago their first loss in a very close set. It went two to three. And University of Chicago lost their first game in their ace match. So it's really unfortunate for University of Chicago. But awesome job to Northern Illinois, excuse me, Northern Illinois University. Basically, all of Hyperion Division is dominated by Illinois schools. So something in the water there. All right. And I think with that, we're just going to go with the Facebook shoutouts right now. So Stephen Oliveira says that, the University of Western Ontario with Energy Ostoji lost to Gulf University, so that's a pretty big upset, actually. Western Ontario, again, a Canadian school, and if they're Canadian, they're probably good at StarCraft. Um, they Losing to Gulf University, this is actually, yeah, a pretty big upset for their division. Because Gulf, you know, most people wouldn't know what that university is in terms of the CSO or the skill level, so the, the, the fact they managed to pull that upset makes them a school to look out for. Cameron Gilbert also tells us that USC is currently first in their division. And that is actually another big, uh, kind of not really upset, but that's a huge surprise for us. Let's take a look here at the website. So here we are, the Tempest division. USC is 5-0. I remember they beat up their rivals, or their sports rivals, UCLA, at the beginning of the season. Um, I think 3-0, so it was pretty, pretty good. UC Santa Barbara also up there, second place in Tempest division. But big props to USC. Kind of like Harvard University, they did okay last season. You know, they didn't really make they didn't make playoffs, but now this season they are undefeated in Tempest Division, and that is something that it um, that is something to be impressed by. Thanks, Cameron. All right. So next thing is RIT. Let's see if I can pull up the right thing right here. All right. So RIT is actually third in the CSL. UC Berkeley first, Indiana second. But why I want to highlight RIT is because they beat out. Uh, the third place winners of the CSL last season, uh, RPI, earlier on in divisional play. So RIT actually making a name for themselves um, in the CSL as well. They're always a really great school, a lot of talented players. And uh, yeah, man, they, they're actually just completely dominating their division. Three zeros and three ones all over the place. Actually, more three zeros than three ones. The roster, you know, it's a good amount of Masters players, so they have a lot of depth to the school. So congratulations to RIT for just being so gosu in that regard. All right, next up we have UA who trounced their in-state rivals NUA. This is from Alexander Vega. This means the University of Arizona uh, owned up their in-state rivals Northern Ar Arizona University. And this is awesome for University of Arizona because apparently they were on a losing streak before owning up their in-state rivals, so always a great moral booster there. And it's always always cool to see these in-state rivalries play out like this. All right, next up there is... Oh, this is actually happening right now, I believe. This is a battle for Raven Division is going down tonight between University of... Oh, uh, forgot the name. Got to look it up really quick. University... Okay, here we go. University of Utah and the University of Hawaii. So this actually will determine who is first place in Raven Division between University of Utah and University of Hawaii. Also, it's really cool to see Hawaii and Utah doing so well in this CSL as well. 
All right, that was from Thomas Edwards. Thanks for that update, Thomas. And next up is Michael Bunker. Oregon State being 5-1 this season when they won four games the entire last season. So, again, another school that's actually picking it up so well in the CSL in Season 5. Um, and this is just so cool to see because that means the team dynamic season to season actually shifts so much. So, I mean, I remember last season... Uh, again, like USC, Harvard, and also right now, what was it Oregon State? There aren't such good schools, but now they trained hard. They got a new roster of players, and now they're completely dominating the division. So it's really cool to see that you can't really count any school out uh, in terms for a play in terms of a playoff spot. And uh, we have another update here from our good friend Eric Sandberg from Rutgers University. Uh, I believe Rutgers is hosting a huge LAN. Let me just pull that up right now. Rutgers, yep, Rutgers University is holding a huge LAN tournament. There's not a fancy banner here or anything, but it is on the CSL website on the events radar. Um, Rutgers StarCraft II tournament, and it's going to be on this weekend, actually, the 28th from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m., and then the 29th as well. They have a TL thread going on, and there's, it's too big for my browser to handle at the moment. But Rutgers is actually a really hardcore school if you don't know who they are. Um... How should I say this? They are at, have been participating in the CSL for such a long time, and they're always enthousi enthusiastic about it, no matter how well they do each season. They house so many great StarCraft players and so many enthusiastic StarCraft, StarCraft players that they deserve a shout-out for sure this week and the weekly update, and probably for future updates to, to come, because they never stop doing cool stuff. All right, thanks a lot, Eric, for that update. And then Jake Mezuk, Case Western undefeated in Nighthawk Division. So... Again, just another person who wants to just show off how awesome their school is doing in Nighthawk. I believe that is Central, so I am bad at finding these schools because we have like 250 schools. It's, it's crazy to take care of all of them. All right, so yeah, Case Western there uh, in the Nighthawk division. 6-0, and pretty impressive over University of Cincinnati in Pittsburgh. And, uh, and yeah, yep, sorry, just about to say something else and totally forgot. All right, and... Uh, as we wrap up here, Justin Telmo says, give a shout out to the UCSC. So University of California, Santa Cruz, CSL team. They pulled an upset on Stanford uh, a couple weeks ago. That is actually insane. Um, Stanford University. So let's take a look at the rankings right now. This is Titan Division. Um, Stanford University is currently up over UC Santa Cruz. But I remember Santa Cruz last season, again, one of those schools not doing that great. But now they're actually doing pretty solid for their division. Titan Division is a bit stacked. We got UC Berkeley up there. They're currently number one in the CSL. Only one set loss right here. Only one set loss for UC Berkeley. That's actually pretty insane. Uh, Davis right behind them. Undefeated, but they lost one set to UC, They lost an extra set under UC Berkeley. Then San Jose State University and then Stanford and UC Santa Cruz. Titan Division is actually full of insanely good schools. Uh, the playoff spots, the top three here, I mean, all these schools could take the top three really easily, especially between... C Stanford and Santa Cruz. I remember Stanford last season, they were like doing okay mid through the season and then they just got like super gosu like halfway through the season and just like took down everyone left and right. Like they just started training super hard and that was really cool to see like their win record just shoot straight up. All right, but it's pretty crazy to see a school like Santa Cruz who was arguably one of the weaker UC schools to like, you know, sort of live up to the UC name and fulfill the uh, rights of all the Asians. All right, and this is actually a pretty cool story here. We have UVic. Oh, this comes from Cedric Cook and Tyson Fa, I believe that is. UVic, uh, also a veteran school, the CSL, trash-talked the school BCIT, and they planted a manor nexus. And then UVic loses 2-3, so trash-talking your opponents and losing isn't the most standard uh, strategy in the world. But congrats to BCIT, and we hope UVic can recover from such a kind of humili humiliating loss, but we hope to see more of their wraps in their future. Pretty good schools all around in Canada, as I've said before. And finally, to wrap up these highlights, something from my own division, from UC Irvine, the Chimera division, uh, kind of breaks my heart to say that UCI has lost to UCSD last season. This is a rivalry between UC Irvine and UC San Diego that has spanned all five seasons of the CSL. So. Uh, UCI bested UCSD last season, but now um, San Diego got the upper hand over UC Irvine. If we actually take a look at the division rankings right now, Kymarin is another one of those super stacked divisions. Um, another one of those super stacked divisions in the CSL. We got Cal Poly Pomona, UC Riverside, UC Irvine, UC San Diego. 
University Pacific, Cal Party Slow, San Diego State, San Francisco State, and all these crazy California schools. I'll just finish the list. CS, uh, Cal State, Long Beach, and then Chapman University. All these schools in uh, California who are all sick good, but only three can prevail from Chimera University. And I think it's going to be a power struggle between Irvine and San Diego. Both are 4-2 and two in the Chimera Division, but UC Irvine actually has a playoff spot because they are one set above UC San Diego. So UC San Diego dropped one set, and now they are just like an inch below uh, UC, UC Irvine right now. So, I mean, UC Irvine is going to face Cal Poly Pombona this Saturday, and that's actually going to be an insanely good match as well because Cal Poly Pomona is undefeated. Again, another one of those schools who just came out of nowhere and is just taking prison, not taking any prisoners and just like owning noobs left and right. It's going to be a sick game this Saturday. So that about wraps it up for this weekly update. We're going to try to do more. Well, we're trying to get, we're going to try to do it every week. So if you didn't hear a school, uh, get a shout out this week. Don't fear. Just send us a tweet at C Star League on Twitter or go to Facebook.com slash Collegiate Star League um, to just leave, you know, if you're just leave the name of your school, you want to shout out what you want to highlight and we'll be sure to feature on the website or video form like this. The point of this video is just to just give, give a sh great shout out to all the schools who are just doing so great in the CSL. And finally, a final shout out to, uh, let's see here, the sponsors, Twitch TV and TT Esports, Kevin and the gun, for, gun Run from Twitch TV. If you ever see them at a live event, give them the highest of fives. And of course, Travis from TT Esports, if you ever see him at a live event, give them a big bro hug because those are the two, two nicest sponsors and the nicest people we've ever met in our lives. And um, anything else? Let me try to think. Oh, yeah. So we need everyone's help in the community for the CSL because we have some awesome little archive here called CSL TV. And if you're casting games for your school, we want to see it. So submit your VODs to CSL TV. And this, is just an, this, this just isn't a VOD archive. This is like GSL level VOD archives. Like we have game sets on the side that you can select. This one's from Ages Starcraft, Sam Su, who did a pretty awesome job between Harvard and McMaster. Again, one Harvard doing incredibly awesome this season against uh, the McMaster here. And uh, so, how you s submit a VOD to CSL TV? You just click this button, submit a VOD, and you just enter all this juicy information here. And you, we can, you can upload multiple games and make it a GSL kind of style VOD viewing experience. So uh, that about wraps it up. The last thing I want to say is, yes, a big call to the community to submit all your VODs because we want to archive all the VODs because when we talk to more people who are interested in the CSL, we just say check out our website and you will see every school on there basically is our goal to see every school's VODs on there. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention this. I wanted to mention this is the University of Waterloo did some insanely sick, awesome StarCraft lecture. Kind of like UC Berkeley StarCraft class. But basically they got together and they are talking about StarCraft using a projector. And this guy, I think his name is... Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I can't remember your name off the top of my head. I'm going to find out right now because you deserve that credit. Tang! Alright, so this guy's name is Tang. School and all the Waterloo nerds about StarCraft Zerg play, and this is why Waterloo is such a go-to school, is because they have this, like, culture of StarCraft at Waterloo. Like, everyone there loves StarCraft. It's like the South Korea of Canada. No, it's like the University of South Korea in Canada, if that makes any sense. Like, everyone at Waterloo loves StarCraft and CSL, and that's actually really awesome to see. I believe TT Esports retweeted this on their Facebook page, and... You guys should too, because this is actually what we need more in CSL right now. Anyway, props to Ratnack and everyone at the Waterloo uh, School who got this going, who got together to get this going. So uh, with that, that's all the announcements we have now. If you want to help out the CSL, you can always sign us an application if you're like a sick GOSU, uh, graphics designer, video producer, caster, anything like that. Just send us email cstarly at gmail.com. We can always use extra hands. And also, post your stuff on Team Liquid, post your stuff on Reddit. I mean, guys, have some school pride. Your, all your schools are sick go-to at StarCraft, and you should be proud of it. So post it on Reddit, post it on Team Liquid, post it on Well Played, post it on the Twitters, and post it everywhere and tell your friends about it, because we got a really good, good thing going on right now, and eSports, that's all there is to say, eSports. And with that, 
that's going to conclude the weekly update. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us, Facebook, Twitter, email. Shout-outs to our sponsors again, and that's going to be it. So 